Um, the main things that I'll cover today are forest roads, uh, felling licenses, public consultation, felling notices and reforestation requirements. Um, in 2017, um, the Irish State uh, grant aided about 3.6 million euros worth of forest roading, which equates to about 92 kilometres. Um, the target for this year is about 110 kilometres of forest roading. Um, the um, midterm review last year, the forestry programme, increased the, um, the density of forest roading from 20 metres to 25 metres, so that's a uh, positive in relation to forest roads. Um, the maximum grant aid is 40 euros per metre, and then the full grant to be paid when the forest road is, is been built and finished. Um, there's also extra kind of uh, money available for special constructive works. It's uh, 5,000 euros per application or 50% of the cost, whichever is lower. There's additional money available, which uh, also maybe covers uh, plan permission if it's needed, um, or um, bell mounts um, that are entering onto public roads. Um, there's an additional kind of money to help uh, cover the cost of that too. Um, felon licenses, this is the kind of uh, legal kind of end of things. So um, under the 2014 Forestry Act, you need a, a valid felon license before you fell any trees. Um, it can be granted up to 10 years and then there can be a f another five year extension onto that then. Um, there's also a number of exemptions under section 19 of the Forestry Act. So trees that are within 30 uh, metres of a building that are in situ uh, before the trees are planted, you can fell any trees. Uh, so if they're within 30 metres, you can fell away. Um, these are, and then trees outside of a forest then, so trees within 10 metres of a public road, if they're deemed to be dangerous, you can fell. Um, it's more of a health and safety thing. We used to get a lot of felling licence or um, reports of alleged legal felling on these things. So under the new Forest Act, we were able to um, bring in this requirement. And then also for landowners like yourselves, um, you can cut 15 cubic metres of timber for your own purposes, i.e. probably um, firewood. So you can cut that per year without a, having a, a felling licence also. But that's trees without a, are outside of a forest. So trees inside of a forest, you need a, va a valid felling licence. Hold on, sorry, wrong thing. Um, so um, last year, the, the department released a new uh, felling and reforestation um, policy document. It's available at our stand. Um, basically, it's a consolida consolidated um, source of information regarding the legal and uh, regulatory framework um, to do with felling. So it's well worth um, having if you're um, you know, getting a federal license and you want to know everything about it. Um, the federal license application, we do have a number of them at the um, stand also, but if you go onto the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marines website and go into the forestry section, you'll see um, the federal license applications and sample licenses. And basically there's another document there that explains the whole document, uh, federal license document and what we put in. Um, in part one, it's for your own personal details. Your contact details also go in and your postcode where we can find you. Um, and then section two of it then, if you have an agent acting on your behalf, so a forestry company or someone else, a solicitor or something like that, maybe that their details go in there, they're an agent acting on your behalf. And um, part three then is the actual details of your forest. I suppose a very important part is the town land and um, the electrical division and the county to that kind of part of the um, the application if it's in multiple townlands as well to include include each townland um, on the license and then as you can see in this example there there's uh, two plots you'll see them on the um, this section of the um, the application form so there's two plots to propose and one is going to be clear fell and the other ones are going to be uh, both tinnings um, and it gives the year of the felling operation. So um, in this case, they're both in 2017, so they're gonna carry out um, first thinnings and a clear fell operation. And it gives also the, the trees per hectare that are gonna be removed, um, the fell age, and then also the estimated volume for it. Is another example of trees in a line. So you can see in the map here in red, 
you can see it's along a road so um, they're individual trees so in this in this application there's, there's one ash one peduncle of oak one sycamore one beech and then there's two other beech that are uh, a little bit older so there's different examples of kind of how you can fill it in depending on whether it's for individual trees or actual plantations so the replanting details then so for um, this one's for individual trees so you can see here they're actually replanting um, in the first plot 20 trees and then in the second plot then we'll beach another 20 and there's 15 there also so then for the, the the bottom one that's for more forestry kind of type application so for plot two you can see it's 2.44 hectares it was a clear fell is the uh, and the refor um ob objective and then they're going to replant uh, two and a half thousand trees to the hectare so that's planting the trees back at two by two meter spacing with the new uh, forestry act came public consultation so for all different license activities by the forest service um the public consultation goes with it now so when your application was received with the department we always advertise we advertise applications twice a week so on a thursday and a tuesday um, all applications will be advertised as they're received and then we can receive submissions on these for up to 30 days afterwards and um, the department inspector will then make a decision and then that decision then will be advertised on the department's website and um, the this can be appealed by both the members of the public or the applicant themselves so if you weren't happy with the decision that an inspector made whether it's a condition on the license or the decision they came for whether approval part approval or refusal the forest owner themselves or their agent can make a can make um, an appeal on that and then federal license is the same so there's 30 days that we can receive submissions then a decision is made on on the application this is then um, advertised on the department's website and we can have um, um, appeals on it then for up to 28 days afterwards um, with the federal license there's a site notice to be erected seven days prior to um, felling commencing commencing and then with the say afforestation or roads or air fertilization when you're making the application a notice has to go up and i think it has to be up for five weeks thereafter um or the 30 days thereafter you make your application so if by some reason whether it's blown down or this or that make sure that it goes back up because if the department inspector gets out there and doesn't see it they'll ask you to put it back up again um, this is an example of the felling notice it's usually um, um, laminated and tacked onto a piece of board and put on a stake and put up outside the site seven days to prior to felling commencement so basically it's just to let the public or your neighbors know that this is a license activity that you have um, got con uh, consultation and it's been a, it's a license activity reforestation then um, as in your federal license application um, you'll have stated what you, you plan on, on um, reforestating uh, the species you, choice you picked and then obviously all reforestation must um, comply with forest service guidelines and um, as i said it needs to be in line with what was issued on the federal license um, some of these are just different um, options of the refor and that kind of stuff whether it's continuous high forest or uh, conifer forest mixed forest if you're going into continuous cover forestry obviously the federal license application will need a forest management plan to accompany it um, the trees are the number of trees we planted this is a kind of quick little box so for conifer forests uh, two and a half thousand trees per hectare at two by two meter spacing and then with broad leaves is three thousand three hundred stems per hectare or two meters by 1.5 mixed broadleaf or mixed conifer is still 2.2 and then um, broadleaf mixtures is 3,300 stems per hectare so just a number of different bits in that there um, so in 2017 the forest service um, resurveyed 2,630 hectares of forestry that went in for reforestation so it was just to make a check on compliance to make sure that one uh, was the felon license utilized and then number two if it was to make sure that the um, replanting was done as proposed to get that 2,500 stems per hectare 
Um, some of them weren't, didn't meet that, and then they were given just a sent a letter to remind people to um, fill in the trees that were missing and to do some maintenance on them. Um, if people didn't, if people don't do that, they may be in breach of the Forestry Act uh, 2014, and they may receive a replanting order. And if you don't comply with that, you may it may follow on into court, but. Look, usually people are, you know, they're honest and they play ball and um, they, they get on with and, and do the honest thing. Um, these are just some supplementary information, the department website and that kind of stuff uh, to check out any circulars and that in regards to uh, uh, replanting our different guidelines. Um, and obviously the Forest Service website will have uh, a lot of this information as well. Um, so it's well worth checking out. Um, and as I said before, it'll give you an example of tree felling license if you wish to carry it out yourself. Uh, there's examples of it there too. Uh, so in summary then, um, your felling license, it'll last up to 10 years. Um, access, as Noel said earlier, is key to get in for both yourself so you can see what's there and then also for the timber buyer or your forester so they can assess and see if your plantation is ready for thinning and then what kind of volumes they can remove. Um, if you have any other questions, you could email felling at, at forest service at agriculture.ie or you could uh, write to the forest service also in Johnstown Castle. Um, myself and um, Luke Middleton and Sinead Stafford from the forest service are here today. If you have any questions yourselves in regards to your own private plantations, you can talk to us afterwards and hopefully we'll uh, be able to deal with it. Um, so um, thank you very much for your attention.